Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a liquid text animation in Apple Motion. Uh, shout out first to or asking for this tutorial. This is my project settings. I already prepared my background and my text. For the text, I'm using the font tennis and black italic. Let's start. First things first, let's lock our background layer so that we won't accidentally move it around. Next thing we need to do is duplicate our main text. Let's rename this group first. Let's duplicate our text source twice and turn off our text source. Let's rename this clone layer 1 as mask and clone layer or group 2 as the stroke. Let's turn off the mask group. Let's add a filter stroke on the stroke group. So filters, border, stroke. Change the color to white and hide source. Next thing we need to do Let's make a new group, Command Shift N. Inside this group, let's rename it as the liquid. Inside the liquid group, let's add an object, a color solid. But before that, check its resolution. Now let's add our solid. Go to Add Object, Generators, Generators, and then Color Solid. This Color Solid will be the liquid for our liquid text. For the color, you can select any color you want. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use the white. Now go back again to Liquid Group, and then let's add a Wave Filter. So go to Filters, Distortion, Wave. Uncheck Repeat Edges, then check Vertical. Then increase the Amplitude and Wavelength. You will see that we have some issue with our color solid or liquid. We need to do is go to the liquid group and then increase the fixed height. Now go to properties and adjust the white position. Then let's move this liquid group. Let's put it below the stroke. Let's add a mask for this. So command shift M to add an image mask. Then inside the mask source, let's put the mask group. Let's animate our liquid, the Y position, to go to properties, and then let's add a keyframe for the Y position. Like this. So we can see we have our liquid inside the text. However, it doesn't move yet, right? It just fill up the text. So what we need to do is we need to add a bump map on our liquid group. Select your group, go to filters, distortion, and bump map. Inside this map image, we need to put a source. So we need to do is let's create a new group, command, shift, n, and then inside this group, let's rename it first. Let's rename it as map. Let's add a clouds generator. So go to add object, generator, generator, and clouds. Then let's turn up the first up to the third layer strength. Now we have that port layer strike only, then increase the vertical scale and width. Then let's add a rate parameter behavior on our X position. Once you add the rate parameter behavior, you can increase this depending on uh, how fast you want the clouds to move. So 0.16, you can notice that this how it moves. Let's just maybe 0.10. Now let's turn off this map. Go to our bump map and then drag this map inside the map well. Then change the controls to horizontal and vertical and then the vertical scale set it to 0 and horizontal scale maybe increase a bit around 0.16. Then let's go to our first frame. Then let's go to our liquid to properties and let's adjust the keyframes. So go to keyframe editor, then let's adjust the handles. The next thing we need to do is go to our stroke and adjust a few settings. So if we zoom on our text, you will see that this part does not look good. So we can adjust the threshold so that that line or the outline disappears and it looks much better now. So shift Z so that you can see your composition area to fit size. So that is how to make a liquid text animation in Apple Motion. If you want, we can mask this text also using the wave. So let's group this first, command shift N. 
then put all inside that group except for the background and then this liquid group let's duplicate it option drag then let's delete the image mask so we will have this so let's put it below the group 2 this one let's go to properties and let's adjust the keyframe let's put it around maybe at the end oh, sorry i got confused so this liquid copy on the initial position let's put it a little bit below the text and then the last position the last keyframe let's cover up our text okay let's turn it off and then on group 2 command shift m then let's drag this liquid copy inside and then change the mask blend mode to subtract go to the first frame and press spacebar on your keyboard our text is masked by the liquid now let's add some texture for our to our background go to library generators generators then add caustics then increase the size and width then reduce the speed go to properties let's increase the scale then put it on a group command shift g this texture group let's name it texture let's add the labels filters of so filters color labels from this part select alpha and then increase the white and like this okay then go to your texture group then properties then let's add some rotation Then once you've done that, go to Keyframe Editor, select all your keyframes, then right click, Interpolation Constant. Select this arrow after last keyframe, ping pong. Next thing we need to do is change the blend mode to overlay. Then let's add a noise filter here. So filters, stylize, add noise. Then let's rename this group as BG. So that's how to create a liquid text animation in Apple Motion. Thank you and see you again next time.